There's a ton of nutrition information out there. I'm sure you have also noticed that frequently information is contradictory and confusing. So let's talk for a minute about reliable sources for nutrition information. First, where should you go for reliable information? If you're looking online, nutrition.gov is a great starting point. It's updated regularly and it's guided by nutrition and food experts. MyPlate.gov also has some great practical resources and their MyPlate Kitchen has a nice collection of very simple recipes and videos. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is also a good reliable place for accurate information. They are found online at eatright.org. They have information on a variety of topics that you can search for and you can also use their site to find a registered dietitian near you. When you're looking beyond these organizational sites for nutrition information, a registered dietitian or registered dietitian nutritionist is a reliable resource. Be aware that anybody can call themselves a nutritionist or some other title, but a registered dietitian has a specific educational requirement and a registration exam that they must pass. They must also complete continuing education requirements to be able to maintain that registration. A few other tips for knowing if what you're hearing is accurate. First, is the person trying to sell you something? If they are, and especially if they are using personal experiences or what we call anecdotal evidence, that information is not going to be reliable. If something claims to be a miracle cure or promises instant results or just seems too good to be true, it probably is. If what they are selling or suggesting is not sustainable long term, it's also not going to be a good choice. You cannot live on just a few foods or leave out large categories of foods and be healthy. If you are looking for articles, check and see if they are peer reviewed. This means that other experts have evaluated the article and the information contained in it. Peer reviewed articles will have things like an abstract at the beginning, authors will be listed with their credentials, and there will be a reference list, and typically it's a pretty long one. Some places that are not reliable, even though you may find sometimes some really great and correct information, would be social media and many random blogs. Remember that even though someone may love to cook or may have heard a ton of great things about a particular diet, they may not have all of the answers. So if you find something there, keep looking for more reliable information on that topic to make sure it's correct.